another entry into the Sandalwood Diaries. So, it's been about a month since my last video, our little introductory video, but you guys are all here today because you want to find out how I found out I was pregnant at 35. Ah! <laughs> So yes, I kind of want to break it down into three parts just because it'll make it easier for me to make sure I cover everything. So the first part will just be like me and Brian's history of like talking about babies and family. Then the second part, I'll talk about a little bit of my fertility journey, you know, air quotations, fertility journey. And then the third part will be me talking about how I actually found out I was pregnant. And make sure you stay all the way to the end because I'll insert a clip of us reacting to the pregnancy test. <laughs> so first, me and Brian, we've been together since 2013. Uh, we got engaged in 2016. And like right off the bat, we talked about having kids. I feel like that's one of those deal breaker questions where you it's just something you have to discuss if you want to take the relationship seriously. Um, so we talked about having kids or whether or not we wanted to have kids like right away. And so we both agreed that we wanted to have kids. We just didn't know when we wanted to have kids. So for me, I was a little bit hesitant only because I come from a big family, especially compared to Brian's family. Um, I have two big sisters and they both have kids. I have six nieces and nephews. So since I was 10, I've been an auntie. So designated babysitter for a long time, you know, all of that fun stuff. Like I just always have been around kids. So for me, I have a lot of hands-on practice with like babies and just being around a big family. But Brian, on the other hand, his sister and her wife have a three-year-old boy. So he's only been an uncle for three years. <laughs> I think he's three, yeah. Um, so the whole baby thing is pretty new to his side of the family, which is kind of cool. Because now we're making his sister and her wife aunties. And, you know, Brian is an uncle now. Um, but, yes, yeah, so... He comes from a smaller family and I come from a big family and so I knew how hard it is or like you know I grew up seeing how hard it can be raising a family so that was like my birth control for a long time <laughs> not needing to have kids because I was just constantly around kids um but for Brian he just you know he didn't he didn't grow up around kids so he just automatically knew he wanted kids like you know because that's what you that's what you do you grow up you get married you have kids that's just a normal thing so me just being a little bit hesitant about it was just based off of fear you know like the birth part <laughs> like what everyone is always scared about but i didn't want to take away the opportunity from brian like obviously I want him to be a father if he wants to be a father and I want to be a mother but like I said we just didn't know when it was going to happen um, but I feel like we have such a great combination of skills because Brian um, has his master's in education and he's taught preschool, kindergarten and first grade and then me just growing up with kids I have a lot of like I said I have a lot of the hands-on experience so I feel like we're just going to make like a super good power power couple and you know, you know a really great team when it comes to raising the baby um so yeah I just want him to have that full experience and he's just super stoked about the whole thing about being a dad and having a little girl and all of all of the good stuff so yes right off the bat really really early all in our really early on in our relationship um we decided that yes we definitely wanted to ha wanted to have kids and so for me, um, like I said, we didn't really have a plan. We didn't know when we wanted to have kids, but in the back of my mind, uh, I had the number 35, like, because by the time we were 35, you know, it gets a little bit more risky to be pregnant. Um, you're prone to other difficulties, just being older, um, pregnant woman. Um, so I've always had that number in the back of my head like if it's gonna happen it needs to happen at least by age 35 and so that's just been like our little magic number or whatever um, so we didn't put any pressure on ourselves you know we went through our phases going to Vegas 
going out, staying out all night, drinking, clubbing, partying, and all that, traveling. We traveled a lot, so I'm really glad that we were able to see all the places that we've been to um, before we had baby. Um, you know, like, I didn't even have a passport before I met Brian, so that was, like, perfect like you know we didn't have to rush to do anything we didn't have a time limit on anything we were just we just said basically we'll live our lives and when it happens it'll happen like it's just you know it's just going to be meant to be um so that's how we decided on all of that so part two fertility journey i wouldn't necessarily say i had a fertility journey but me being um, 35, I guess, you know, some people are going to have questions like, you know, did you have a difficult time um, getting pregnant? How long did it take for you guys to get pregnant? Were you guys planning or any of that stuff? So basically, no, we, <laughs> we didn't plan the baby at all. Like I said, we just um, had it where when it happens, it happens. Um, I think subconsciously, deep down in my brain, my brain was planning for baby, but us like speaking out loud, no, didn't, didn't come up in conversation. Just, you know, the age 35 thing was something that we talked about regularly. I mean, we still weren't even married. Like, <laughs> like we didn't even want to plan the wedding and going through all of that. So how are we going to be <laughs> planning for baby? <laughs> we just kind of live by the seat of our pants you know basically fertility journey seemed easy for us like we are very lucky that it happened the way that it happened so when i was 17 my sister took me to planned parenthood i got on birth control and i've been on birth control ever since 2020 is when i actually stopped taking birth control and i took breaks in between so first I was on the shot and I did that for like five years until you can't be on it anymore. You have to get like your bone density scan. And then I was like, okay, whatever. I don't feel like doing that. I'll just switch to something else. So I switched to the patch and then I've been most recently on the pill. So that's what I've been on um, up until 2020. And I did not play. I was, you know, serious about my birth control. I wasn't trying to have like any surprises or any accidents or anything. Um, so this is my first pregnancy. Um, but yeah, I just, you know, birth control was my religion. It, it was every day. Like I did not miss a beat. Fast forward to like, I want to say like 2018 before we actually moved here to Kauai. I did have like one health concern and that was just something that was always in the back of my mind. Um, and then being here, like being part time, um, I didn't have a uh, health insurance. So I wasn't even going to the doctors or, you know, we, they don't have anything like a Planned Parenthood here. I mean, obviously I realized that they have free programs um here now now that i'm pregnant and so obviously you know i'm taking advantage of those um programs which has been fantastic so far so good job kawaii on that um but yeah so i had a health concern back in 2018 so 2020 for whatever reason i just got on my health kick like I was like, I want to start taking care of my body. My body is my sanctuary. I want to take this seriously. I want to get fit. I want to get in shape and do all these things. So first thing to go was birth control. <laughs> um, so I cut out birth, birth control because one, it's just not good for your body to begin with. Like hormones and I was just taking, you know, the generic brand of birth control pills um, and it's just, yeah, it's just not good for your body. So cut that out for one. Started taking a multivitamin, which became, you know, my next, you know, daily routine. Um, I was taking a probiotic. I was taking apple cider vinegar tablets. Um, I started taking B12 and folic acid. Still no intention of prepping for baby or planning for baby or anything like that. It was just purely out of trying to take care of this entire thing um so then with the with the fitness journey or the health journey that i was going on i tried to oh my gosh it's so windy <laughs> 
so with the fitness journey um i did try to work out like i've never been into exercising i've never been an exercising type person i hate running i mean i would go to the gym and the only thing that i would do would like be get on the elliptical and stretch or whatever um so at this time 2020 early 2020 i was 34 so subconsciously i had that number 35 in my head but not really thinking about it um and so I will be working out and I'm like exercising, you know, you exercise to, you know, one, get fit, get toned, lose weight. But I just started thinking like, why am I going to sit here and go through all this and try to lose weight when I'm just going to put it all back on when I have a baby? Even though I still at that moment was not thinking about baby, was not planning on baby. It was just something that I knew was going to happen eventually. And I was like, I'm not going to put in all this effort <laughs> to lose all this weight if it's just all gonna come back with baby and i always thought about it as um i want a little bit more cushion you know i want a little more softness for the baby which pff, let me tell you it's come in handy because i have no stretch marks i've never had any stretch marks and i started lathering on the bio oil at the end of my first trimester and like so it says you know to start using it twice a day in the second trimester so i've been doing it so you know fingers crossed um but you know obviously your stretch marks happen stretch marks happen like no big deal but now fast forward to march 2020 my birthday is march 21st so spring baby <laughs> that's when covid really hit Kauai. like everything started shutting down um both of my jobs closed down so you know birthday reservations got canceled i was basically like well i don't want to do anything now we can't go anywhere you know covid is alive and well let's just hang out here at the house don't buy me any presents don't buy me any gifts like just save the money because eventually we will be moving out of here and then come along Brian's birthday, um, December 15th. <laughs> he said the same thing, you know, uh, COVID is still here. There's no point in making any restaurant reservations. They weren't even taking reservations at all at that, at that point. Um, and he said the same thing. Don't give me any presents. Don't give me any gifts. And I wasn't going to give him anything anyway, because I'm not working <laughs> at the time. Like he had already started going back um, to school. Or teaching again but like work from home style um so yeah it was it was easy like i'm not gonna get you any presents or any gifts or anything like that so that was totally fine so part three of it is uh basically since i had stopped taking birth control i started using a period tracker because you know me being the crazy person that i am you know crazy person um I like to be in control and I just like to know what's going on and so I was really good about using the tracker like the more information you put into it the better it predicts your cycle to come but cue the chickens <laughs> but for whatever reason my tracker like no matter how much information I would put into it it would always be off by two days like it would say it was early two days or I would still have two days left before it was going to come and I would like st have to start it. So yeah, either two days early or two days too late that my tracker would um, predict my cycle to start. Okay, so then my, okay, so then my birthday was March 21st. I turned 35, still not even thinking about baby at all. Subconsciously, I think I really was. Um, but January second <laughs> january 2nd comes around and um uh, apparently unbeknownst to any of us um you know period is late and so january 2nd first day late january 3rd second day late january 4th the day that we found out that we were pregnant three days late now like i said we like my tracker was always off by two days or whatever and me and brian were talking about it and we're like looking at each other like nah you're not pregnant there's no way you're pregnant like you know it just we just didn't think it would happen like that just unexpectedly um but unbeknownst to us on brian's birthday 
um, or at least two days before Brian's birthday, I was ovulating and I didn't realize, you know, I saw it like, you know, we were scrolling through the period tracker or whatever. And I was like, oh crap, like I was ovulating two days before, but like I said, the period tracker was always off by two days. So I didn't really think anything of it, like, you know, bring it on. <laughs> and so unbeknownst to us, um, we ended up giving each other the greatest gift we could give one another, which was a baby. <laughs> so yeah, December 15th was like, you know, like a magical day for us. It was Brian's birthday. So that number is always going to be stuck in our head. So three days late and the third day late didn't worry me at all still because usually it would stay three days late and then you know 10 o'clock 11 o'clock 12 o'clock one o'clock whatever it'll come around and then i would add in that it started and then it would take away that third day basically but um yeah 10 o'clock 11 o'clock 12 o'clock one o'clock rolls around and auntie's still not here so <laughs> so i'm like no like no freaking way like I can't believe it like no like ah, I'm freaking out I'm freaking out like I was I, I was freaking out because this is just it's crazy like like I said unplanned but a very very welcome surprise like completely welcome surprise and it it was right on time like it literally couldn't have come at a better time um like we're ready to move we're ready to start a new life and you know back on the mainland so it was literally perfect but still freaking out so of course I zoom right to CVS, I get their pregnancy test, I get a double pack, but I just bought like the cheapest ones possible, like the ones where it just shows you like the plus or minus or whatever. So I get home, I take the pregnancy test, and let me tell you, that thing lit up so quick. It lit up like the 4th of July, like <laughs> I had never seen a positive birth control test before. So I was like, well, what happened? Like, <laughs> like what is this? And so I'm looking at the test and I don't know if you guys have ever watched Westworld, but you know when Dolores is just looking at the picture of the city, like the outside city, and she's just like, doesn't look like anything to me. That's legit how I felt. <laughs> like I was just dumbstruck. I was dumbfounded. I, I couldn't process what the test was saying. So of course I take the second test. And now, retrospect, thinking back, what I should have did was just put that second test underwater so then I could have had a control. Um, <laughs> and then I would have known, like, okay, the water is obviously going to show a negative test. So then I would have been able to compare the two. No, I go and take the freaking pregnancy test like regular. And it lights up again, like, so quick. Like, instantly, it just lights up. And so this one was pink. And it had a, my, it had a line and a plus sign. So I was like, well, what the heck does that mean? Like, obviously plus means positive, but it also had the other line on there too. So it was confusing me, even though I'm looking dead at the instructions and I'm holding it up. And then it has like a whole blurb about um, false positives or whatever. And so I take a picture of it, of the test and of the instructions and i send it to brian and he's at school mind you he has like an hour and a half left of school left and like yes we have been talking about you know oh my period might be late but he i don't even think he remembered that i even had stopped my birth control <laughs> but you know it was just like out of the blue like you know it's 1 30 in the afternoon and you're getting a picture <laughs> of a positive pregnancy test and so a few minutes later he texts me back and he's like yeah, I think it's positive. <laughs> and I'm like, no, 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 no. Like, when you get home, we'll go back to the store and we'll get some digital pregnancy tests. I was splurged for the double pack of the digital pregnancy test. Um, and so he comes home. Oh, because obviously <laughs> I need the digital pregnancy test because I need it spelled out for me, right? Um, so he comes home and then he's like, oh, I'm really hungry. Like, are you hungry? Like, let's go get food. So we literally go to happy hour. We go and have fish tacos and then we go to CVS, pick up the pregnancy test. And then I come home and I take it. And so this pregnancy test, the digital one that has like the little blinking lights. 
so it has like the three little blinking lights that like fill up so it was like blinking one blinking two blinking three and then so i put it back in the package and then i'm like we should record our reactions so i'll insert that clip here <laughs> okay so we are about to take a pregnancy test my camera's over <laughs> And the only reason why we're recording this is because I plan on having a like vlogging channel. We plan on go moving to Florida and all this stuff. Um, but where's my phone? Oh, I've been waiting for my period to come. I actually stopped taking birth control uh, a year ago, like around January, like a year ago, just because. I'm too old to be on birth control. I've been on it for so long. Like I just, it's not healthy. It's not good for you. So I, I finally just stopped it. And he didn't even realize that <laughs> I had stopped it. But um, my period tracker said that my period is three days late. Now I've had it be two days early and I've had it be two days late. And like my, I like, I feel normal. Like I'm not tired. My boobs aren't feeling any type of weirdness or anything like slightly cramping. Like I feel like my period is coming. So we are going to take a pregnancy test right now. Like my hands are shaky. Are your hands shaky? They're shaky. <laughs> so. Okay. And then, okay. So let's do this. Oh my God. Yeah, like everything feels normal. It's just kind of weird. Like everyone around me is pregnant while that's doing that right there. Um, oh, I think it's already going. So while that's doing that thing, we also like his coworker just found out she's pregnant. Um, like hella people like online. Everyone's just pregnant, like COVID babies, right? And then today we got this letter. It's like addressed to our address, but it's not to us it's to someone that we don't even know this is this isn't the name of the person that used to live here like so it's just super random and so when i waited for him to get off of work so we can go eat and get the pregnancy test um but the letter says it says thank you so much for blessing our baby girl i cannot wait to dress her in the adorable disney princess onesies you gifted her thank you for being so caring and supporting and supportive during this journey family and our fifth date was at disney we're super disney obsessed people like i want to be a disney vlogger and like a lifestyle vlogger so that's why i'm recording this video because like how cool would it be to like my first video would be like you know surprise but this this might not ever even see the light of day. It might not even be the case. So we're just gonna see <laughs> what it is. And so we're using one of these. And we've kind of like just kind of like ugh, I don't even know how to say it. Like it didn't matter. Like we never really like planned on having like a kid. But then we didn't not plan on having a kid. Like it's just kind of been up in the air. Like if it happens, it happens. Like that's awesome, but I've been off of birth control for a really long time and I've been using my app tracker and nothing's happened thus far, so. All right, you ready to see it? Let's see it. I don't know, I'm scared. I'm turn it over. Oh my God. <laughs> wow. Can we show the camera? Hey. Check that out. I can't even believe it. I'm such an ugly crier. <laughs> you did it. Yeah. <laughs> did a good job. <laughs> I don't know why I'm crying. Like, I'm just so like, it's so crazy. It's so crazy. Did it. And what's funny too, because <laughs> his birthday was December 15th. Can you even believe it? His birthday. That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. good. It's December 15th. And 
and I forgot his birthday. Like, horrible person, right? Like, I was going to work, or I had the day off, and he went to work, and I just was at home, like, chilling, like, not even thinking of anything, and I felt so bad. I forgot your birthday. <laughs> You know, to make up for it, you know, stuff happened. And so we know, like, pretty much the exact day of conception. So I think that's kind of cool. But I can't believe it. I can't freaking believe it. There was, like, so many signs. Like, like I said, it was just kind of, I had, like, an inkling, like, just, I don't know. Just thinking about it and it, I felt normal. I felt like my period was coming, but something just told me just to get a pregnancy test, like for the hell of it. And oh my God. So uh, I guess welcome to the channel, The Sandalwood Diaries. This is it. This is my first video. Oh my God. Oh my God, it's all full of makeup. We're gonna be moving to Florida. Oh my God, it looks so bad. We're gonna be moving to Florida, which is kind of crazy because it's like COVID crazy, but hopefully it's not even gonna be until summertime. So hopefully by then. And today is what? Today is January 4th. So we're not gonna be going to Florida until summertime. He's going to get his COVID vaccine on monday and now that i'm pregnant i'm 100 percent not getting it i'm not taking any chances um uh but yeah so this is the start to my youtube channel so oh and i'm jennifer this is brian <laughs> so crazy so oh and then the cat is here too linda say hi linda Say hi. So yeah, so this is the beginning of our channel. It's already been going on for like seven minutes. And we're super excited. Are you excited? So now we won't be weird when we uh we'll be we go to Legoland. <laughs> we won't be the weird people like with no kids at Legoland because we love theme parks. Like that's the thing we love uh traveling and going to different theme parks. So now we can take the Disney cruise. And we'll like have our little one and um no more uh what is it called a uh, disney millennial like childless millennial I'm, I'm no longer a childless millennial because we love disney and we love all the theme parks honestly but anyways okay so enough rambling and i guess this video is gonna be to be continued so Yes, uh, I need to go back and watch that video because I don't even remember what I say in the video. Like, well, that was literally the first video that actually said, you know, hey, welcome to the Sandalwood Diaries. Like, this is a thing because I knew that I wanted to share that at some point. So, yeah, that was us um, seeing the pregnancy test for the second time. Like, even though that wasn't the first pregnancy test but seeing the pregnancy test read pregnant just really hit me like so hard like oh my god I'm not gonna cry like teary-eyed but it really just kind of sank in a little bit more seeing the word spelled out pregnant on the pregnancy test and I'm not gonna cry <laughs> But we're both just so happy and Brian is just so happy and I don't want to cry. <laughs> we are pregnant. I'm currently 23 weeks today. <laughs> if you followed me on Instagram, I just posted the what to expect like three, a 23 week little snapshot. Um, so baby is kicking and oh man, she's, she's a little gymnast in there like for sure um but let me give you a couple shots of the belly bump so here's baby 22 weeks pregnant Whew. 
it is it feels so good out here with the wind but yep this is baby this is what she's looking like right now and you can barely see like the kicks coming through um i just posted on my instagram today um uh, me recording her little baby uh boops <laughs> that's what i call them because it's just like boop so yeah, that's how I found out I was pregnant at 35. Well, now I'm 36, actually 2021. I'll be giving birth at 36. So if you like videos like this and you want to keep up with my pregnancy journey and we have so many more videos coming, like once we get back to California and we're going to be driving to Florida. So I'm going to document that whole road trip. So if you want to stick around, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss an adventure. Okay, bye.